Hello, Steam It's Crypto G here, coming at you with another Pixlr video tutorial. Um, as you can see here, we're going to learn to do a bit of a, a 3D effect. Um, I sort of uh, had a couple of goes at doing different things. There's a little sort of a cyclist coming out of a phone. Um, and here is a surfer coming out of a TV. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's just dive straight in, shall we? So first of all, obviously, we need to bring in an image. So I'm going to open an image. Um, I'm just navigating to where I've put a load of screens. You guys can't see my screen. But you know what? I'm actually going to use a different screen than the one I used. So whilst I'm going to show you this effect, um, I'm going to do it on a different screen. The reason being is because it was actually a bit of a ball ache finding the edges of this screen. Because, um, you know, you can't sort of tell where the frame stops and the actual screen starts which makes it a, a bit of a ball lake to to put your stuff on um and so yeah i'm gonna use this i'm gonna do a quick i'm gonna do a quick adjustment on this actually just a quick auto levels hopefully that sorts it out yeah it's okay but um let's just crack on shall we so the first thing we need to do is we need to get our image and put that on there, our surfer image. So what we're going to do is come to layer and we're going to go open image as layer. Um, and then I'm going to navigate to where I've put all my action shots. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Um, and yeah. Okay, there it is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do um, we're going to duplicate first. So we're going to come over to here and right click and duplicate layer, which is right at the top. Again, for some reason, my screen saving software doesn't show me this. Um, and then on the top layer, we're going to do, uh, we're going to call this 3D layer. 3D layer. Um, and then the second one, we're going to call screen layer and please do rename them as you're doing this it's it's good habits and also this particular you know uh, project will be able to really pile on the effect so once there are loads of layers you need to know what you're doing okay so first of all we're going we're going to stay on the screen layer but we're going to deselect the 3d layer which obviously there's no difference now and we're going to go edit free distort, not transform, free, free distort. Uh, grab the corner there. And we're just going to simply match these corners to each corner of the screen. And now you're sort of beginning to see what I was talking about uh, just a little while ago about the fact that, you know, the screen you choose, make sure, you know, you can either cover the entire screen or at least find the edges like this because um, you know if you cover the entire screen it kind of looks a bit weird because as far as I know there are no full bleed laptops where the image goes right to the edge of the actual laptop they're all encased in natural casing so we want to try and make this look realistic so just going to go down here, you've got a cover there, he's got all his Apple icons open, so that one was a bit too high. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there for now. Okie dokie. So we go like this here. Okay, and this bit is important to get right, so I'm just going to spend a minute or two fiddling with this, um, and then we'll I'll rejoin you, so I'm just going to pause now. Hi there guys, okay, you just caught me just finishing off there and I just wanted to show you, um, I basically zoomed in slightly after my first free deform, distort I should say, uh, zoomed in, um, lessened, took the opacity of the layer to 50%, 
so that I could be really accurate and make sure that the image lines up perfectly with the screen because due to the wonders of perspective that will now look as if it's on the screen so I'm just going to accept the changes yes I'm going to change the opacity back up so that now it's there um, I've actually just seen I've left a tiny gap here at the the edge and I just can't I can't leave that <laughs> bit of a perfectionist right no I'm not actually I'm not a perfectionist but I'd quite like to get rid of that um, there so that we don't see any of the screen below okay let's accept that yep okay that's better um, and something I might as well do is perhaps just kind of uh, take off the edges very slightly but you know that's kind of personal taste okay so now we're on the we're on the screen layer so now what we have to do is add the 3d layer so we're going to turn that back on and go up to the 3d layer and we're going to add a mask you can add a mask by either right clicking uh coming below here add layer mask or you can do it up in the uh, layer layer menus but anyway we've added that layer mask as you can see um, and obviously that masks the whole layer so that we can't see it but we don't want to do that so I've made a mistake so I'm going to undo that mistake there we go I'm only human um, and we're going to turn down the opacity first where is my mouse there we are we're going to come over here and we're going to turn down the opacity to about 50%. Then we're going to do edit free transform. Forgot a whole step. There we are. Oh, and there's my... Why is it so zoomed out so I can't see the edges? Actually, okay, let me uh, click off that and say no. And I'm going to zoom out. There we go. And now... Make sure I'm still on the right layer. Yes, the 3D layer. Edit, free transform. Okay, that's better. Right now, I'm going to move that up here. Uh, I'm going to get her. So she's sort of around there. I'm going to make her smaller. I'm going to make her smaller and a bit taller. Yep. And that's going to be sort of, it's going to be sort of around like that. I'm going to change that again, but once you're in free transform, you can't zoom in or out. So I'm going to say yes to that change. And I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to have a look where we are. Um, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's move it slightly, maybe. Um, let's move it to sort of there. Yeah, she's going to be a bit big, perhaps. Let's free transform it down a bit so she's not quite so big. Do, 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 do. Yeah, about, about yay big. Okay, right, now we can whack up our opacity. Um, of course, we have to say yes to our changes, our free transform changes. Whack up the opacity, and now we are going to add the layer mask. This time I'll do it just for the hell of it by going to layer, add layer mask in this um, menu. So that's masked the layer we were just working on. Obviously, to see it, we have to poke holes in the mask. And so in order to do that, we're going to go to the brush tool. Um, we're going to get a bit of a bigger brush to start with. Uh, that's the biggest we can get. Let's, let's make that. Oh, in fact, that's the way we make it bigger, is we simply zoom in slightly, and then the brush, the brush will be bigger. Right, so I'm going to just start painting over this bit, and I'm going to sort of try and go in the... Uh, within the contours of the wave. I believe it's called a tube, surfing tube. I 
remember as a child I wanted to um, learn how to surf and then I realized I had a morbid fear of deep water so kind of doesn't work. So you can see already that's kind of kind of nice isn't it? That's kind of nice. I might even do a little bit out here just to uh, make some water come out of the TV screen as well. Okay so of the computer monitor I should say. Okay so there we go that's that's that stage done it's as simple as that then let's go over to the eraser now and now we're going to we're going to zoom in zoom come to the side here lift this up and now we're going to just start taking some away some take away and now obviously when you're doing 3d effects you know, something, this isn't real 3, 3D because, you know, if you put this into a 3D vector program and the computer tried to um, rotate it around its Z axis, like 90 degrees, it wouldn't see the back of the surfer. It would just see a checkered image, you know, because there's no information there. True 3D, you can zoom around. However, we can cheat 3D like this, um, and the cheat works best when you see as much as as much of the background as possible, um, because obviously the background is flat at an angle, and this top layer is flat but at a different angle. So we've got the perspective cheat, and it looks like she's popping out of the screen. Now, you can really go to town on this and really spend quite a lot of time on my other one. I really did. This one I'm not going to so much, um, just simply because I don't want to spend too long on this tutorial. It, it is a bit of a, a complicated technique, but it's, it's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. You know, we've just add a couple of layers, use the free distort, then use the brush tool on the 3D layer then use the eraser, um, various different sizes, obviously, as you zoom in and out to get that really accurate, you know, like, for instance, I might uh, come and get rid of all of this stuff here, just at the back, uh, just to give that a little extra, like, you know, she's popping out of the TV and that kind of looks like she's dragging some of the water with her. So I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to sort of tidy this up and decide which one I want to put on the Steam It post. And of course, is the YouTube thumbnail. Um, and yeah, I'm loving this. So just if you, a little bonus for anybody who's stayed with me all of this time and is still listening to the video, I'm going to do a 3D meme competition. Um, and in that meme competition, I'm going to give away between about 60 and 120 US dollars, which is, you know, obviously at the moment, five to 10 Steam dollars. Um, but anybody who's listening all the way to the end, because I know most people don't actually bother listening to these things. But if you are and you want to enter the competition early or you want to get a chance of a bonus, um, uh, bonus couple of dollars then do a 3d image put it into the comments below before I do my competition post because when I do my competition post I'm going to ask people to if they haven't done this before to watch this video and so if people have, are watching this video after I've already done a competition then you know they're not going to get the bonus but if you clever little person that you are, are still listening and that's the way if you want to win a couple of steam dollars just do a 3d picture like this put it in the comments and i will judge the best one and send them two dollars if there are more than one winner i'll send both two dollars if there's only one entrance i'll send you two dollars in fact if there's only one entrance before my next one i'll send you five dollars how's about that so that's five steam dollars which at the moment is 12 to 1 so that's 60 us dollars okay i really have kept you long enough now i'm going to end this tutorial now um have fun with this the few little tips before i go 
make sure that the screen is at an angle that will make sense of somebody popping out of it or something popping out of it and also make sure there's enough contrast between the two which I'm going to do now by uh, adding filters you know you can still filter the layer and adjust it for instance I'm going to uh, put a bit more contrast onto my surfer and her waves and such and stuff like that so yeah thanks for watching steam it and youtube and let me know below what you'd like to see before and don't enter don't forget to enter that competition if you're watching on youtube sorry you're gonna have to set up a steam it account if you haven't got one it's worth doing you get paid in cryptocurrency and uh it's all great so okay thanks for watching and bye bye